Well, what's good everybody, I'm your boy Jadiro, and here are all the secrets in chapter 1 that you might have missed. So seeing as we're starting in chapter 1, we're going to start off in the Forest of the Wolves at the Front Hills. This is the first shrine you want to warp to. And from the shrine, you're going to reach this archway with this bridge, and the first thing you want to do is jump left. Just like that. And what you'll do is you'll proceed down this river, and you'll get to this point where you'll see this baboon guy in the distance, as you can see him there. He's going to do some crazy stuff around that head there. You get the short little cutscene. He's going to jump away. And you're going to walk up to the statue or the stone head. And you're going to collect your first secret item. Now the Skondo form, you'll collect one of these in each chapter. But we're just going over this one today. Later in chapter 6, when you beat the game, you're going to be able to hand in these Skondas. And you'll be able to get a huge stat boost. But this is where the first one is in chapter 1. Okay, now we're at the outside of the forest shrine in the forest of the wolves. Now what you want to do is just quickly dispatch these gentlemen up ahead. Easy work. And then pretty much what you want to do is hug the left corner of this jungle all the way. So just keep hugging the left here. As long as you can go left, keep going left. I know it might sound confusing, but that's what you want to do. We're going to skip over that chest right now because if you're going on this path, you can't miss it. So as you can hear, there's a waterfall in the distance. And there's the waterfall. Now once you get down here, you'll notice there's a waterfall. You can't access or get behind this waterfall until you get an item in Chapter 2. And I'll make a video on Chapter 2 of all the secrets again. And I'll explain to you how you can get behind this waterfall. But make note of this, that there's a waterfall here with a cool boss behind it. Alright, so from the waterfall... We're going to proceed left. Now, this isn't much of a secret. There's a boss here that gives you your first transformation. But again, if you just keep hugging the left side of the jungle here, keep hugging the left side of the jungle here, you're going to come across first boss. Now, this boss isn't the secret, but there is a secret once you defeat this boss that you need to get. However, I thought I should mention this. After you beat this boss, you pick up his item and you get your first transformation in Black Myth Wukong. The Red Tide Transformation. Now, once you defeat this boss, as you can see here, there's this bell behind him that you can ring. Now, there's two other bells that you can ring, so that means there's three bells in total. But what I'm going to do is show you the secrets in order of the way that you'll experience them. So pay attention, and you'll see where the other bells are later in this video. Now, from the outside the forest shrine, Let's say you didn't go to the waterfall or you didn't hug the left of the path. You can simply just proceed right. And as you can see, it's a shorter distance to the Wandering White. And once you defeat him, he'll drop one of the best spirits in the game. So don't be afraid. If you miss it, you can go back to a shrine and accumulate it that way. All right, so here we are in the Bamboo Grove at the Back Hills Shrine. Now from the Back Hill Shrine, you're going to want to proceed down these stone stairs here. And what you want to do is steer yourself all the way. I said stairs and stairs. Who cares? That rhymes. But anyways, you want to keep to the left again. And you're going to see this little cave right here. And who you'll bump into is this cool NPC who I like to call Horseman. Make sure to bump into Horse Guy and exhaust all his dialogue. You'll bump into this guy in every chapter all the way up to chapter 5. Now, why you want to talk to this guy is because in the next chapters, when you get to the last time you talk to him, he unlocks a cool transformation. But I'll go over Horse Guy and other chapters for you. Okay, here we are at the Snake Trail Shrine. Now, from the shrine, you're, wanna, you're going to want to go right. And on your right-hand side, you're going to bump into the NPC. I mean, you can possibly miss him, but you probably won't. He's right over here, and he gives you your gourd, which allows you to heal. Now, once you've acquired your gourd, keep heading straight. And it's going to take you to this little village where you can get some really good experience and some really good will. But you look over here to this broken brown fence. And if you look down, there's typically a frog here, but I've already acquired the spirit. Let's see if he pops out to say hello. Oh, there he is. As you can see in the distance, Mr. Frog has come out to play. Make sure you fight this guy. He drops a wicked cool spirit too. And what I wanted to mention here is there's one of these frogs in every chapter. Even chapter 6. Boom. Defeated. Now, once you beat the frog spirit, it's going to take you to a pathway that leads you to this bamboo forest. Kind of misty, so you can't miss it. 
Again, if you hug the left of the bamboo forest, it will take you to our next location. And it takes us to our next boss, Guangmu. Who I like to call Snake Dude. And once we defeat Guangmu, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, we get another dope spirit. Now that boss is pretty easy, but the secret here is if you run up this little staircase right by where you defeat him, it's not, it's not hard to miss. Here is our second bell. And go ahead and ring that bell. Now once we've run that second bell, we're going to go over to the Marsh of White Mist Shrine. Now from this location, we're going to proceed forward. And as you travel down this wooded bridge, if you hang a right here, we'll bump into a very important NPC of ours. Now the Shen Monkey is important to bump into because we can buy stuff for our gourd and we can also buff and upgrade our gourd at this NPC. Now from the Shen Monkey, we can keep heading down the same wooded bridge and it'll take us to our next secret location. Now it's not the location that's secret, but we fight this cool boss. And after we defeat this boss, I'm going to show you where the secret is. Now once we beat Snake Dude number two, if you want to proceed to the left, we'll be headed to our third bell. And as you walk through the village, you'll see that the third bell is right here. Now once you've rung the third bell, you'll be transported to this temple where you fight the chapter's secret boss. And you guessed it, just another big man baby. Elder Jinchi. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this fight's pretty hard, so come prepared. Now, once defeated, it will transport you back to the temple from which you came. And our buddy chilling in the tree, all you have to simply do is examine him and you'll get the secret item of this chapter. And once examined, you are presented with the fireproof mantle. Now, this will significantly help you with the boss of chapter one. Alright guys, well that does it for me. I hope you enjoyed the chapter 1 guide for Black Myth Wukong. If you guys want to see chapter 2, please let me know down in the comments. And I'd be more than happy to make that video for you. Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm your boy, Jadiro. Signing out for now. Peace. Oh,